Welcome back to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief. Although I know many of you prefer to see reviews on high-end products because many of us are enthusiasts and gamers, there are others out there who don't play games but still have the need for a video card for their computers. For those people who are doing that, such as building HDMI systems or just systems that for running just your general business applications that don't want to use onboard video, there is an entry-level series of video cards. Today we take a look at two of those cards from XFX. The first would be the HD5570, the second will be the HD5450. These are both entry level cards that come in well under $100 and will fit the bill for most HDMI and general gaming. Follow along as we show you the specs, how these cards work and how much they are and if they're worth your money. Okay, well here we're going to show you the contents of the retail box package of both the Radeon HD5570 as seen on the left hand side. And then as we pan the camera to the right, we show you the Radeon HD5450. Both of these cards contain similar things other than the video cards themselves. They both all commonly have the installation guide, the graphics card CD drivers, the quick installation guide, and a little card for registering your car for personal service from XFX. Here we take a look at both the retail cards themselves. Notice that there are a few similarities. Both the rear IOs are almost identical as far as their features go. The setup's a little bit different. As you can see, the DVI connector is located in a different spot, as is the BGA, but they all three contain the same thing. A DVI, a single BGA, and an HDMI connector. The only other difference really between the cards is the height of the card and that the 5570 has an active cooling solution and the 5450 has a passive cooling solution. Neither one of them require any type of power solution whatsoever, so those looking to upgrade will probably be just fine even using their old 350 or 400 watt power supplies. Now that you've seen the box, you've seen what's in them, and you've seen the cards, Let's see how well these cards perform. So, we've ran the test and you've seen the results. And for those results you can see that if you're just somebody who plays minor games or plays games with a lower resolution, these cards will play games. Are they a high-end gamer's card? By no means they're not. But they do support full support for playing your Blu-ray movies, they're very small, they take very low power consumption, and they're very low priced. So for those people looking to get an entry-level card, not bank the bank, and not share their memory with the computer, these cards are a great deal. Thanks a lot, XFX, for participating for this. I know you love these videos so much, Ryan.